think so. There's Keisha now. Which one is he? Just coming off there in the... You'll see him now before too long. He's not listed. Well, he's talked off there, anyway. Welcome back to Musgrave Park for the second half of this Ulsterbank league match between Dolphin and Cork Constitution. Three points each at half time. Uh, Dolphin will be playing from our right to left, and Rory Scannell will kick off. The three all typical tight Cork derby. Mind you, there are not too many big scores floating in any of the games at this stage. And like the start of the first half, Cork Khan have now not received the kickoff very well as Dolphin did in the first half and in fact it was a knock on again another good decision by Nigel Carell is an attacking scrum to Dolphin inside the Cork Con 22 as we get the second half underway you just hope that the game will open up now Gordon because I mean we, if we're being honest it's been tense and, and fully committed but it, far from a classic and maybe half time now one team needs to go for it and, and, and maybe express themselves a bit more because it's been two stop starty for the first half so let's see what happens here now but we be hopeful and optimistic that it might uh, uh, free up a bit second period but surely it, it's the, the modern game Hugh defences rule it takes something exceptional and he's shocked as he tries to snipe through there he thought he saw an opening uh, Dolphin driving forward a little bit of ground Oh, a no problem for Cork Con, the first yellow card of the night. A Cork Con man well offside. He was actually standing on the on the side of the uh, Ryan Foley was standing on the Dolphin side of that mall and took out Ono Shocknessy. And now Dolphin with an easy chance open the scoring in the second half and get the lead and just like the first half it, it all comes back to the kickoff. I mean you have to take your kickoff for seeds it's, it's, it's pretty uh, pretty basic you know a drop in offence one time other scores in the Ulster Bank League matches tonight that we've heard of uh, Tantarf and UCD and uh, first third versus first are six all in Castle Avenue Alanzan lead 18-13 in Temple of the Road against St Mary's. A scandal kicks for a goal and is successful. A big roar for the Dolphin fans as they take the lead six points to three in the 42nd minute. And in the other Division 1A game, Gary Owen and Young Munster, I understand it's 6 3 to Gary Owen, but I'm not quite so certain with that. In Division 1B, in the Connacht Derby, again, he eagerly awaited. Buccaneers lead by 11 points to nil in Corinthian Park against Corinthians. Now, unlike what happened just before, that was a well taken kick off by Dolphin. It was a bit of juggling, but it was you know, shock to see Tess of Scannell there. Low, kicks infield. Well taken by Chris Quinn, who is very quick. But oh, super tackle! Ball comes back. Lions down the the far side. Now the four, fourteen man con driving forward. And that's an excellent drive into centre field. Holland throws it in. Quinn down the outside. Throws the ball goes forward in the tackle. He is trying to break clear, but without success. He looks a real danger man, Quinn, doesn't he? He's got he's got plenty of gas and he's always looking for for space. Con Connor obviously trying to to get more ball into his hands. It yes, came from Balna Hinch. It was interesting, in fact, when when the transfer was being made from Balna Hinch, Khan couldn't find him on the system. Uh, the Irish review were moving. Their, their player rate system from one provider to another and uh, he seemed to have dropped off so I had to do a little bit of work to, to find him and get him up in the system he's, he's making a name for himself now but uh, 
Ballon Hinch is a club Cork Con would know well from their uh, famous cup victory a few years ago. The likes of Willie Falloon and these guys uh, played starring roles. Yeah, tough league this year for Ballon Hinch. Their, their, their derby match will be in Clontarf. Yeah. The years match them. Ah, free kick to Dolphin. Con penalised for driving in the side. Scannell kicks long. Down towards Chris Quinn. Who gathers. Again, trying to go around the outside. It's a long way around. Three Dolphins defenders. And Con get the Dolphin man into touch on the far side. I see Paddy Ryan has come on uh, a substitute for, for Dolphin. He's an interesting character. He's brother of Timmy Ryan and Dave Ryan, two props who would have played for Munster. Uh, Timmy would have been uh, played with Cork Con and Dave. Dave would have played with Dolphin and I think he's over in, playing his rugby in Italy now. Yes, a uh, good line out from Cork Con as they drive forward. Good John Gleeson going forward. Con, since the, the yellow card, are playing with a lot more urgency. And I really started to take it up. Maybe a little bit lucky there. Man goes off his feet, but as the Corella turned away. Middle of the field. Dolphin trying to counter Ruck. Uh, Andrew O'Driscoll, of course, who played for Cork Com before. Sorry, who played for Dolphin before he transferred to Cork Com. But a good. Very good counter Ruck by Dolphin there. He, he had seven years with Dolphin, so maybe he was. Doing a favour for old time's sake there. Bad turnover. Now, of course, whenever um, Niles Gamble came to Dolphin, he was blocked and... Yeah, it made sense for him to go where he could get game time because yeah. Scanlon, Irish in the 20 player, was, it was always going to be first choice. So and I were talking to, not to um, Andrew's father in the past and this rugby is what he lives for. Now, said Niall Scannell to throw into the line out here. Oh, they just about got that one in time. They were dummies and. Somebody got the call counting. around there, there was no lifting. Yeah. Now, Dolphin going wide, they know Connor a man down. Interesting, first time tonight they've gone wide. Harry Fleming made good ground. This is interesting. Dolphin are really stretching him now. Oh. 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 Keen behind. Great break down the middle. Dolphin up to the con line. Are we going to... No, it's just in the touch. But that's the best bit of play from Dolphin. But from either side tonight, two very good attacks. It just shows you what, what can be accomplished. I mean, they, they decided to spread the ball wide. And they made great ground. And again, Bohan just demonstrated how dangerous he can be he's so strong he took about three guys with him there before he was eventually hauled down and now Dolphin have an attack position right on the line but Bahan is not only strong he, he's very quick as well he backed himself to go there possibly he could have drawn the man and, and put his winger away but he, he, he backed himself to confidence to somebody who's you know training full time in rugby He's full of belief at the moment. I mean, his career is on a very much uh, an upward trajectory, so he, he, he's, he looks like a player who just backs himself the whole time. As you say, though, you see that a lot in the modern game where where they might come across the pitch, whereas, you know, in the old days you're always taught to fix the man and give the pass, but um, in that case, I, I think uh, Bahan just said it, he thought he could go the whole way. I would still be of the opinion, though, that fixing the man and giving the ball in many occasions the right thing to do and too often now people want to take contact we saw that's, I think that's just part of the modern game we saw it in Cardiff a couple of years ago I think there was a certain try if Paddy Wallace had fixed his man and given the pass I think it was to Keith Earls at the time it, it was something you were always taught in training I, I know it was something that uh, Declan Kidney always beat into you what he coached here before now Andrew Driscoll to throw into a defensive Cork Con line out very important is this one right he has done Dolphin try and drive forward, but Con look in control of it. Although they're making Dolphin now, Connor. Put him in the driving back. And the ball will come back to Ryan Foley, who will kick. I'm sorry, it's not Ryan Foley because he's he's in the sin bin. So that 
Let's see who is pegs from half there, Hugh. He's chased by Darren Sweetenham. Uh, Dolphin throw to the back. Good ball long. And again, they're going wide. Great pass by out to Harry Fleming in the wing. The corner. Yes, a very good try. It was a beautiful pass by Vahan to get in midfield. Lovely yeah. hands, and that created the space that wide. Yeah. Oh, the referee has not given it. Sorry, we've missed that. Touch judge has his flag up. And the first try of the night has been denied. But that was a magnificent move, Hugh. Bahan linked around in midfield and but it, it, created it, the space. There seems to be a definite change in, in mindset in half time. That ball was off the top from the backs, straight out the backs, and they're trying stuff. Um, and if Khan follows suit now, we could have a hell of a game. I wonder a Dolphin saying we'll be 10 minutes playing against 14 men. This is the time to spread it which would be very good thinking for Steve Ford. If it is, it's worked well, because that's the, the third time now they've driven, but now Cork Con retaliating with a very good driven line-out. Excellent work from Cork Con there. I mean, they're under the caution to, to manufacture that was, was, was uh, very commendable. Dolphin penalised for bringing down the mall. Uh, be a relieving penalty for Cork Con inside the 22. You see Dolphin are readying Number 17 here, Paddy Ryan, to come on. And sure enough, on he comes. Uh, we'll see in a second who he's going to replace. He's got that, that Ryan bulk. He's not a small man. Mm -hmm. Big big man, Ryan. They're, take, they're taking off Christy Condon, uh, who's in his 30s now, but uh, um, still, still a good warrior. Still lots of fatigue there. He might feature again before the end. Interesting, you bring off your captain. <laughs> Con kick long from that line out. Now Dolphin spraying it wide again. This time they kick. Con wait. Rory Scannell gathers. Sorry, not Rory Scannell. Johnny Holland gathers. Another good tackle. Found the ball. Brian Cagney tried to make progress, but was well halted. Dara Lyons paints from half in the absence of Ryan Foley. John Quill penalised for obviously He did. He did try and say to the referee he'd take his hands away, but he had uh, been penalised for it. I've just been handed a piece of paper here. People watching on Twitter are Paul Stevenson in Tralee, Peter English in Limerick, and Daniel Pym, I think it is, in China. So the wonders of Irish rugby.ie were being watched in China. We know there are people waking up in Australia to watch this game six o'clock in the morning they were setting their alarms for members of Dolphin and Cork Con who've had to emigrate out to Australia I'm sure by the end of the night we've heard of people in many different countries who have tuned in to watch their favourite club play here uh, Con attacking good at good at line out on the, on the 22 driving forward brought to ground Ryan Foley is back on so Connor back up to, to the full strength as they drive through the centre their dander is certainly even up since they lost the man. Oh, but they've made a mistake. Poor handling, which I put down to poor alignment. Now Dolphin driving forward. Well, pass back in the 22, so Scandal can't go for touch. Well picked up by Dara Lyons, chips ahead. Oh, and a knock on by. Dolphin, Niall Scannell, Rory Scannell, so I keep getting mixed up here, apologies. But the touch judge is going to line out. I would have thought that ball was either knocked on or passed into touch by the Dolphin man. So the game has come alive, Hugh. It's the, Most it, certainly. Yeah. It was good, a, a good static play. first half. Good play there by Dara Lyons, who I think he deserves a mention. He's been a great uh, servant of the club game for many years. 
from Clonmel into Bray, which wouldn't be a kind of a, a rugby rugby heartland. But yeah, the, the game has definitely come alive, and and it needed to, you know. So I think we it's got the crowd involved now. There's a big crowd here. They want to be entertained, and when you've got so much tension with entertainment, it, it's a hell of a spectacle. Andrew just go quite lucky there. He, he he seemed overbalanced, and he had to take a step in field. Got a line out away. Con win it. Burst burst forward. Now inside the 22, they've gone left, but that's where all the defenders are for Dolphin. Big handoff in the in the in the centre there. Back in field. Con hanging on. Back to where we were in midfield. Now they must go there. And a penalty against Cork Con for going off their feet at the breakdown. And that will really frustrate Tom Mulcahy and the Michael Driscoll and the Cork Con coaching staff. If they got a quick ball there, then a lot of people clear on the right hand side. But yet another penalty. So 55 minutes gone. Dolphin 6, Cork Con 3. As Dolphin fine touch just inside the Cork Con half on the far side, the terrace side here in Musgrave Park. Interesting to see what they do off this lineup, Paul Gordon. I mean, um, the success or the the uh, the ground they made in the last move would, would suggest they should go off the top again and keep moving the ball. So I think you have to stay true to your principles now and keep attacking would be the best approach. We were talking to you about Mick O'Driscoll being on the Cork Con coaching staff. I see Frankie Sheehan just stand down there behind the Cork Con bench. He might... Uh, Give me a few words of wisdom as Dolphin with an excellent line off the top. Long ball. But unfortunately, the fullback, Eamon Mills, had to check his stride and that broke down the attack. Well, shocked to see with a nice serve as he put as a nice flat delivery. As Bohan goes around to tidy that one up. It's fantastic oh. defence from Cork Con again. I mean, yeah. Dolphin threw everything they had at them there, tried to move the quick ball and they just had uh, white jerseys in their face all the way along. I think that's been a feature of the night, has been the defensive Cork Con. They're very proactive up in the Dolphin faces, knocking the guys back. And that's resulted in a penalty uh, about 40 metres out, straight in front of the post for Johnny Holland. If they go on to win this game, I, th I think it will come down to the, particularly in midfield, the defensive midfield is very impressive. It's up to Dolphin to, to work away to get around it. Johnny Holland, one successful kick out of two attempts. The one just on the half-time whistle, drifting past the far post. So this now is directly in front. Uh, but about 40 metres out, he should be. Have the length for this. Strikes it well, straight down the middle, and a six points all here in Musgrave Park. 58 minutes gone, the sides are level again. Cork Con now bringing on Gavin Duffy, number 17, to their side. And I haven't seen who's gone off yet. off was well held back to Holland long kick down I think in the match like this here you don't want to be playing ball in your own 22 and risk the chance of being penalised it's a, a big up and under from Eamon Mills and knocked on by Khan there Dara Lyons jumped in couldn't hold on to it and now Attacking scrum for Dolphin just outside the Con 22. 
excellent opportunity for them, Hugh. Yeah, I think I think we're in for a incredibly tight last 20 minutes. And if I could just uh, give a mention to one of Dolphins' oldest members, Burr Murphy, who, who isn't here tonight. He's watching at home. He, he's the he wrote the uh, club song Dolphin once again. Um, some people reckon he was there when the club was founded in 1902, but those rumours can't be proved. But um, this is going to be incredibly tight finish. As you say, it's, a, it's an excellent position for Dauphin. So the scrum here is crucial. They have to get solid ball to, to let out to, to Rory Scannell and, and behind the rest of the backs. Yes. Referee Nigel Carell makes up that scrum. Word through from Castle Avenue. Clontarf have now got a 19 points to 9 lead over UCD, the league leaders. So opportunities here. Clontarf in third place. Of course, Cork Connor second at this point in time. And uh, if, they go, if word goes through, then that would be a big fillet for them. In Corinthian Park, it's Corinthians 10 and Buccaneers 18. Nigel Carell penalises Cork Con for a early shove there. Dolphin took it. We're not quite sure that Con were back 10 metres. But play goes on. Dolphin driving forward. Cork Con have to be very good with the discipline here. Dolphin not making a lot of progress. Drive around the side. Clear away the Con tackler. They're going down the attritional route here, Hugh. Yeah, I, I think that they're scared by the uh, the tightness of the con defence. So maybe up the up the middle isn't the worst uh, tactic to take. Six, seven phases now. Back out to Scanlon. He saw he saw a half gap. Well, yes, out to Harry Fleming. Coming us through. Lovely jink. Rory Scannell thought he saw a gap through what could be said to be a speculative pass. And Harry Fleming jinked through to score halfway out in the right-hand side. An excellent try out of almost nothing there, Hugh. Beautiful, beautiful move by uh, Rory Scannell. That's what he gives you at out half. He's a natural runner. But if you if you watch the pass, the way it was weighted, it was just hanging there in the end, begging to be picked up. It was a real... Uh, <laughs> Hail Mary in a kind of a, a he, just, he just left it hanging there so a lovely bit of skill so that's lifted the Dolphin supporters here and their bench Khan regroup onto the post as Rory Scannell lines up the kick to try and extend the lead Scannell up, kicks, hits the post, unlucky. So after 62 and a half minutes, it's Dolphin 11 points, Cork on 6. And Hugh, you're getting a little bit excited now, this could be Dolphin's night. Still only 5 points, you know, I'm not going to break open the Dutch goal just yet, but uh, you need to take those kind of conversions, you know. I mean, I know you did wonderfully for the try, but uh, leaving those points behind you, could, could, against a side like Khan, as well coached as they are, um, that, could, that could be fatal. Khan kick off, very well worked there. Cahill Fla Flaherty was up, regained the kick off. Out of Holland on the slightly wet ball. He throws the ground, but they, it was a judge to be flat. Holland through, now he's kick his charge down. Chris Quinn did well to gather that one. Darrell Lyons, pragmatic, kicks for the corner. No. No. Darren Sweetenham. Jinking. Can't make too much progress. We're on the halfway line here in Musgrave Park. Khan's defence up quickly again. A feature of the night. Trotsy kicks. Ryan Foley back. Kicks. A much better connection that time. Mills feels it. Darren Sweetenham links around. Now he kicks. Chases. Connor back with Flaherty. Fails to gather. 
Bowles knocked forward, referee playing advantage, and yes, he brings it back. It's a very scrappy passage of play there, Gordon. I think I think both teams know that the the game is winding down here in terms of the clock, so um, any error could could be crucial here. Interesting number coming on the field here for Cork Con number twenty-five. I hope we only had five subs allowed. <laughs> 25, I'm not quite sure who that is because we haven't been told there is a number 25. And also going on for Cork Con is Will Foley, uh, number 16. They're freshening up the front row here, so it's obviously uh, going after the Dolphin scrum in a big way. Yeah, that was Brian Cagney has come off uh, in the front row. And also going off is Joe McSweeney, and it was Joe McSweeney that Rory Scandal targeted for the try. Tried to go on the outside of him, got half past him when he picked up the, the pass. Oh. Ah, penalty to, against Cork Constitution. The crowd were rolling for offside, but it's going to have a bit of an impact for a, a calm player not rolling away at the tackle. Bohan again was very effective there Gordon I mean when he takes on the ball he does it from depth and at pace and just sucks in defenders and puts the attack he's, he's, he's watching him tonight now you would definitely think there's a future a monster future with this guy you know he's probably the standout player so far even though he hasn't been used that much Dara Lyons came forward there from full back just to check with Nigel Carell the referee exactly what had happened there He's gone back to take his place now to await this kick. Rory Scandal with a chance to make this an eight point game, which would mean that Cork can't have to score twice. Uh, unlucky with his last kick, hit the post. Steps up, strikes it well. Looks good and straight down the middle. So after almost 67 minutes, it's Dolphin 14 points, Cork Con 6. And Con have a bit of a mountain to climb now. Dolphin have kind of taken over. It seems when we were standing here, you were looking to our left all the well, time. We haven't been down much in the Dolphin half. I'm looking at, at Dolphin supporters around here who are guaranteed to break into cheers if they do win this, but no one's going to that level yet because <laughs> this corresponding fixture last year, they can score the winning try in. Uh, in Fergie time as they call it like ninth, ninth minute of extra time or something so no, one, no one's going to be counting their chickens yet in fact the Dolphin president was saying that over the last few times the two sides have met if the referee had only blown his whistle after about 76 minutes they, they might have had a couple of victories and a plaintive voice in the back of the room said even 80 bloody minutes would have done <laughs> Again, fine kick there by Rory Scandal. Well, at risk of tempting faith, there does seem to be more belief in Dolphins' play at the moment, and possibly a bit of uncertainty in the con, the con lineup. So it's a case of the home team just keeping the pressure up now. Dolphin charging through the line out there. That was, a, that was a con line out that went wrong. Brilliantly taken in the middle of the line out. Dolphin 10 metres out. They have the ball. I think we'd have a few more attritional drives here, Hugh. Yeah, it worked for them the last time, so I think they might try and work this tactic a bit more. I'll let you commentate on this. this. This will be right up your street going back many years. Or would, would you have been standing out in the wing? I, I would have been standing just behind Kieran, Kieran Bahan there at the moment, screaming for the ball. But there, you, there again, like, like if, if you're going to do it, you have to do it properly. If a guy's taking up the ball, he has to have, he has to have men driving in behind him. And uh, that, wasn't, that wasn't too well organised now by Dolphins, so they've given away crucial possession there. Just to, just to put this derby in context, Gordon, I mean... 
you're looking at a situation where if Dolphin were to win, um, you're not talking about a, a change in the pecking order in Cork rugby, but it has a huge knock-on effect in terms of players coming out of the school, looking at which club to join. They tend to gravitate towards the one which is in the ascendancy. So that's what, that's why there's so much at stake in, in these derby games, you know. And, and you see it, you see it, and you know, there's a lot of tense faces around us now. There's banter going on, but there's a bit of edge to it, you know. Um, so a lot, lot at stake in these last ten minutes. Dolphin their captain Christy Condon back on. He's had a nice ten or fifteen minute rest and come back refreshed for the final ten, eleven minutes of the game. Scrum just goes down that time. Latest news from Castle Avenue is the Clontarf lead UCD, the league leaders, 22 points to 16. And in Galway, Buccaneers lead 18-13 with eight minutes left and Buccaneers down to 14 men. The joys of Twitter, Hugh, that's how I'm getting these scores at the moment. As we have a slight lull in the game here. Do you tweet yourself? Are you worth following? I'm not worth following, no. Just insights into your day and what you're having for lunch and that kind of stuff? <laughs> Certainly not. It's bad enough. We, Will you fancy I follow, next factor? I, I follow, follow Nigel Owens. He's, he's, he can be very funny in, on Twitter. Christy Conlon penalised for pulling the scrum down. He looks across the touchdowns on the far side, kind of going, what, me? But uh, maybe that was one of the old-timers trying <laughs> to call the bluff there. And why would the attacking side drop a scrum? You wonder what Con can, like the line-out ball here now, um, halfway between the 22 and the 10, 10 meter line. Do they go for broke? Do they kick it? You know, if, if you if you kick from this position, you're giving gifting Dolphin back the ball. So, interested to see what Johnny Holland and, and the backs do here. Yeah. Can't win the line out well. Uh, Holland's going to spread it. Probably has to this time. Dolphin anticipating that their defence is well spread. Lions in at scrum half. Although Connor making little incisions, there's no real thrust to their play, is there, Hugh? No, the Dolphin defence is holding okay at the moment. What you want to do, what they want to do, is be forced Con to kick the ball. But I think Con looked like they're going to probe for a, bit, a while longer yet. So Con still stuck inside their own half. They are making some progress. They need fastball. Holland, has he seen a gap? It was almost there. He pops it up. Dara Lyons coming with them. Con drive into the Dolphin half. First time they've been there for a little bit. And number 25, whoever that would be, <laughs> takes that pass and drives forward. Again, Dara Lyons in at scrum half. Connor up now to the Dolphin 10 metre line. Lyon switches it down the blind. Yes, and a great drive. Cahill O'Flaherty, I think it is, number four going down there. Now, here goes Keneally. Driving forward. Connor in the 22 now. Best period of attacking play in there for a long time. Bring it wide. Good hands. Cahill Quinn stepped inside. Chris Quinn, 14, feeds it out. Dolphin tried to jackal there, but got wrestled away. Back down the blind side. It's uh, Max Abbott driving forward. and Dolphin. Very happy there. That they've got tackle Khan into touch. And that was by far Khan's best period of play this half, You Dolphin be happy they got into touch, but that's, that's classic Khan now. You can never count them out. They just came from outside the 22 into Dolphin's 22, just, uh, just by very controlled play. And you wonder, should they have been doing more of that early in the game? And there'll be a lot of question marks if uh, Khan go on to win it. And uh, based on a mystery player, number 25, because <laughs> he took out a hell of a ball there. So, But no, it's very impressive about Khan, and it's just... This is kind of dig deep time for the home side and for both sides, but like uh, you can't count the cons out yet. Hold up and play here, and just again looking at my Twitter feed here, I see that Simon Crawford, the Clontarf back row forward, is red carded for a high tackle. Uh, so Tarford down to 14 men, leading by 22 16, that top of the table match in Castle Avenue.
Dolphin won their line out. Kicked down to, to Chris Quinn. Holland in midfield. And Connor running a bit harder and straighter now. Again making an incision. Oh. Con 10 yards short of the Dolphin line. Holland, great hands by Holland. Five metres out, Con. Slow ball. Dara lines, but it's an advantage to Cork Con. They'll have a penalty here, at the very least. Referees wait to see. Yeah, and it's going to be a yellow card, I think, for a Dolphin. This all feels eerily familiar, Gordon. Mm -hmm. This all feels eerily familiar. <laughs> so, Con, 75 minutes on the clock. Con are going to try for three points to get them back inside one score. And the. Can't just tell who the, the Dolphin man was who was sin binned, but he's walking up the sideline here. We'll see in a second. That's John Quill, the USA International, who has been, well, he's, he's Irish, but he's the USA International has been sin binned. So he will not, he'll sit out the rest of the game, presuming that there's no more than 85 minutes to play. So Dolphin now play out the game with 14. So Johnny Holland, a penalty just beside the post. Chips it over. Now it's Dolphin 14, Cork Con 9. Well, the first half may have lacked quality, Gordon, but uh, I think the large crowd here is getting value for money now because this incredibly dramatic last four minutes. So here you're getting nervous. Three and a half minutes on the clock, but probably I would guess six minutes to go. As you said earlier, eerily that. familiar. <laughs> Rory Scandal kicks deep. Khan gather. Oh. And slight follow through late there by Dolphin, but they haven't been penalised. But the Khan man is down holding his midriff. He felt that, certainly. This 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 is a the game's key line right now. If Dolphin can bring this ball down and just hold on to it and let the down a man so work the phases and just tie the ball down. There's, there's a few minutes to go. A bit of sensible play. A loose tap in the line. Khan goes through. Oh, Con going! Great cover back, great tackle. And into touch, 10 yards out. A magnificent break down the left by Cork Con. We're trying to ascertain who that was. But a wonderful cover back tackle. By I think Harry Fleming, the try scorer. Khan went fully 50 yards towards the corner. Dolphin now with a defensive line out. Khan have, have stolen it. Khan crowd getting very excited here. Good ball out. Charging through. Mystery number 25 takes it up again. Khan go forward. Wasn't a great body position there. Almost was held up. They're going forward again. That time Gavin Duffy taking it forward. This is a really sustained period of pressure, Hugh. Can Dolphin hold out? Looks like they've conceded a penalty, yeah. Penalty to Cork Con. Back five minutes in from touch on the five metre line. Dara Lyons looks to go quick. He has gone quick. Throws it out. Dolphin were organised though. Lyons looks left and right. And again Lyons goes himself. But he's held up. Fine tackle by Darren O'Shea. Holds him up. And 
Nigel Corral, not quite sure what, I presume it's a penalty to Khan. Nigel Corral has talked to Christy Condon. And I didn't see the referee signal for a penalty. Did you, Hugh? I probably had, yeah. So I must have missed that. But Connor, five metres out from the Dolphin line. The clock shows 79.40. Did this, like, what did you do at this line-out? There's been so many line-out turnovers. Do you contest this close to the line or do you let them win the ball and hope to drive them out? Well, you're in the former second row, Hugh. What would you have done? I'd contest, but I wouldn't be... Uh, um, like it, it look, looks like they might be put, oh they got it Dolphin did contest and they won it but they're just they're on their own line uh, can they win the ball back it looks like the referee's happy they have it won fed back to Rory Scandal he finds touch about uh, 12 metres oh, from the Dolphin line so calm, another chance, but you're right. There have been a lot of turnovers in the lineup tonight. There has been, yeah. Then Kitty's heel for both teams. Um, I was looking at the referee to go up there, but the whistle of release never arrived. Unfortunately, Hugh, the clock just keeps on rolling here in this ground. I would guess we will have a false start to that line. I'd guess we have a minimum of 84. So that would mean three minutes to go. So Cork Con line out, 12 metres out from the Dolphin line. It's all Con at the moment. They just about have, they've just about won that line out. It was very scrappy, but they have the ball back on their side. They've, they've lost two or three yards. And now they start the pick and charge. They're certainly going to be keeping it tight for the time being. They don't have any depth to the back line. Good hat. Dolphin have driven out about 35 metres out but Khan somehow have got it forward referee has pointed where the ball is Khan still have it they were lucky there now they've gone down the, the blind Gavin Duffy went forward but he was tackled in a touch great defence by Dolphin Darren O'Shea there put him into touch yet another crucial line that they have to win this if, they want, if Dolphin want to win this game 82 minutes gone the clock now but and we hear Deirdre McCarthy the administrator of Dolphin roaring her team on she's getting quite excited there to my left Dolphin lucky to hold on there that they looked like their man had been turned he somehow got back in his on side and they put it out yeah! and the ref Nigel Crab blows his final whistle <laughs> Dolphin have beaten Cork Con by 14 points 9 here in Musgrave <laughs> Park and there's fantastic scenes people hugging and kissing themselves here because it is a while since Dolphin last won I'm trying to be objective here Gorman that's absolutely brilliant and you're thinking of guys now like Terry Kingston Michael Kieran and credits who were quartered by Khan to cross the city down through the years and never did. This is a huge, huge victory for anyone involved off it. And you have to give credit to Cork Khan as well. Uh, as always, they put it right to the end. And I thought they were going to do it there at the end, but a uh, hell of a game and a great adver advertisement for the Ulster Bank League. Yeah, certainly Khan had their chance at the end. They had that attacking line at five metres out, but yet again they lost another line out. And I say Mick O'Driscoll, that great stalwart of Munster over many years, who was an expert in the line out himself will be very upset and they, they will be in for some drilling this week to try and ensure it doesn't happen again. I think we can say rugby was the winner today, Gordon. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a very magnanimous uh, Dolphin man. So listen, Hugh, thank you for your, your time tonight. It's, be, it's been a, a pleasure having you here and thank you all who, for watching it all over the world. And just to reiterate, uh, Dolphin have beaten Cork Con by 14 points 9 here in Musgrave. Up the fins. <laughs> Thanks very much, Sense. Well done. No, that was great. Cheers, guys.